Hi guys, today I'm talking about errors and measurements. We're going to go through accuracy, errors, precision and uncertainty calculations. Measurements and errors. Accuracy. A measurement of the closeness of agreement between an individual result and the accepted value. An accurate result is in close agreement with the accepted value. Error. The difference between an individual measurement and the true value of the quantity being measured. Precision. The closeness of agreement between independent measurements obtained under the same conditions it depends only on the distribution of random errors and is not related to the true value. Uncertainty. An estimate attached to a measurement which characterizes the range of values within, within which the true value is said to lie. It's written, for example, as 44.0 plus minus 0.4. Now here guys, I've got four different diagrams and they kind of explain the difference between precision and uh, accuracy. Now remember, precision is every time you repeat the result, uh, are they very close together? Are the results always close together? So you can see here we've got a bunch of answers that are close together and here. So both these examples, you'd say they were very precise. Whereas here, these two examples, well, uh, they're both, the values are all spread out, so they're not very precise, they're less precise. Now, this is our true value here. So this here would be very accurate. And likewise, here though, this is shifted over to the one side, so this actually wouldn't be very accurate, although it would be very precise. Now here, the values are spread all over the place. But if you take an average of those values, you're actually going to get the true value. So although these values are not very precise, they are very accurate. And here, if we take an average of these values, well, they're spread out far away from each other, so they're not precise. And if we take an average, we're going to get a value of over here, which is very far away from the true value, so it's not very accurate either. Now, one analogy that you can make with precision and accuracy is that of a dartboard. Imagine if someone hit lots of darts here. There's our first one. There's our second one. And maybe they did another dart in here. Now these values are all very close to each other, but they're not close to the, the main center here. So these would actually be all very precise, but they'd be far away from where we want it to be, so they'd actually not be very accurate. Let's do another example. So I could shoot my arrows. They can end up one here, one over here, and one over here. Now, none of them have reached here, and they're all very, very far away from each other. But if I took an average of the three arrows, I'd actually end up here. So although these aren't very precise, they are actually accurate, in that if I take an average of all three, I'm going to get close to the value that I want. Okay. I could uh, fire over here, maybe. Hit an arrow into here. Maybe one over here. Maybe fire an arrow here. Now these values are neither accurate nor precise. If I take an average, I'm going to end up over here, which is very, way, very far away from the original true value that we're after here. So these values here would be neither precise nor accurate. And then finally, if I fired three dots, and they hit right in the very center, these values would be both be accurate and precise. Precise because they're all very close together. Accurate because if I take an average, I end up right by the bullseye. Random and systematic error. Random error is the type of error which causes readings to scatter about a true value. However, systematic error is the type of error that causes readings to deviate in one direction from the true value. 
Now for calculations with uncertainty, the actual or absolute uncertainty uh, for this quantity, for example, we've got something, it's a length, it's 2.0 millimetres plus or minus 0 0.1. So the absolute uncertainty would be plus or minus 0 0.1 millimetres. The fractional uncertainty would be the absolute uncertainty divided by the, the quantity. So it would be 0 0.1 divided by 2.0. Finally, the percentage uncertainty is the the absolute uncertainty divided by the quantity that you've measured times by 100. So in this case, it is 5%. Finally, if you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, bye for now.